Jim and I took a trip to look at this cabin that's about 10 miles east of Talkeetna and it's about 10 miles of trail just like this rutted and this is a beautiful day really nice day you can imagine what's like in a storm we had a guide who had been back there before young man 24 years old name is Andrew good guy six foot seven he was a big help I don't know we probably would have found it eventually but it would have been really hard without him but he guided us right to it Remember, there was 10 miles of this bumping around. I think I can make it in my Jeep. I'm not sure, but I think I can. I would definitely need to have a winch before I try it, though. When we got close to the cabin, we uh, ended up with a log across the trail, which Eric amazingly was able to pull out of the way oh, with his Too bad we don't have a yeah. I was pretty impressed with that. When we got to the cabin, we discovered the owner's strategy for keeping the bears out, and that is that front door is accessible only by ladder. And uh, Keeps the bears there's nothing out. for a bear to grab a hold of to get up there. When we turned the inverter on, we could switch the lights on. We could plug in the uh, charger to charge the uh, battery for the cordless drill. It worked great. And it was just sitting there, ready to go. The heater there kitchen over here completely screened in porch we let the mosquito little stick go but this is all screened in i think it comes with all the fishing poles and we'll go through here a little bit plywood floor of course bedroom. I'm not opening up all the screens. There you go. That comes with. Closet. Water closet. Without the water, I think. This place does have a water catchment system. What's that? It's the attic. Got a bed, double bed, another bed, another bed. Quick walk around the outside. This is not a fancy cabin, but it is set up. The river, you can't see it here, but it's not very far over that way, the Talkeetna River. And we passed Larson Creek on the way in. It's good fishing there. It's well insulated. All the stuff that's here comes with. Rhubarb here. Several rhubarb plants. Just a few solar panels to keep a small amount of batteries charged. Oops, strawberries I'm walking on. That's about it.